You have to remember, look at this. You have certain things which are haram, right? Or which are 100%, uh, 100% what? Harmful, correct? Then you have things in between, okay? And you have things that are okay. Now what happens sometimes is, we see something in the middle. Something in the middle. Now this thing that is not haram, it's mubah, it's permissible. Why is it? Permissible. What permissible mean? It's halal or it's mubah. Okay? Now this thing in the middle, we have to be very careful regarding these things. Because they themselves may not be harmful, but for certain people it ends up being a problem. So like vaping. So we have drugs, cocaine. That's very bad. Right? Then underneath of that, what do we have? Cigarettes. Yes? It's harmful. Then we have vaping. Vaping means they have some kind of like, it tastes sweet and they smoke it, but it's not, it's not tobacco. And then below that we have like normal things, things are good. Like for example, fruits and apples and drinks and nuts and all of that kind of stuff. Now, the idea is, if people vape, it's not as bad as smoking. And it's much better than cocaine. Are you following? So now this is a middle thing, right? It has a slight harm, but not as harmful as the others. Now when you make this thing legal, look at law for now, it makes it legal, the idea is we're going to get those people from the top to come down. But what happens? The people from the bottom, who are not even having this slightly harmful thing, they're now going up and taking things. So people who would not smoke, what do they think? Oh, vaping is not as bad as smoking. So what do they start doing? They start vaping, but vaping is also harmful. Do you understand? Do you get the idea? Similarly in religion, we have certain that are permissible. They're not, they're not har totally haram, but they're like makru, or they're slightly problematic, or they distract from a bigger goal. Now, we have to see who we're talking to. Are you following? Now, is there, if you tell this person, okay, this is okay. There's nothing wrong with this. Are you talking to a person who's going to come down, or a person who's going to go up? Are you following? So let's say, for example, we have... Uh, let's say, for example, watching sports or playing uh, games. Now, if you tell someone it's permissible, 100% permissible, there's no thing in this. But who are you talking to? If somebody, if somebody is engaged in what? He's got, he's engaged in really bad habits. He's got bad friends, he's got, uh, he goes out, he's involved in. And you say, you know what? Come down to something. Okay, look, I just watch sports instead. Instead of watching, watching movies. So he's come down from something that's harmful, very harmful too. Slightly harmful or less harmful or void of benefit. But then somebody from the bottom who is spending a time doing good things, what are they doing? Ibadah, seeking knowledge, spending time with their family, doing something more productive. And they say, okay, let me go up to this. Do you understand? So what you have to remember is that there are different types of people you're speaking to. And if, so for example, you say, well, listening to, listening to, for example, in Ramadan, in Ramadan, for some people, Watching, watching, uh, listening to this nashis the whole day is very good. Because why? If there's not some nashis, what are you going to do? Music, TV, maybe you get involved in sin. So for them, they say, okay, just watch this is nashis. What should you do instead? It's in nashis. So what's going to happen now? That's going to save them from thing. But as somebody who can do something better, I say, oh, this is nashis the whole day. But you, you got a talent. You're a hafiz. You can read Quran fluently. Why don't you read Quran instead? Do you understand? So we have to remember that these, these things in the middle don't even if you're doing these middle mubah things think okay currently it's mubah my ambition or my spiritual level is not such that I can go to a higher level I will use these but don't think of this as like what's the, what's the problem? I want to do it it's okay it's halal yes yeah, halal but always try to get to a higher level Do you understand? It's like for example if you're exercising you say well are you dieting? You say well you know what? I can't go full on right now, but I'm just trying to make certain small, small changes. What's the ultimate goal? To stop it all together. I can't cut out all the sugar right now, but I'm gonna, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna cut out those things that are high in sugar. So the things that are very, very high in sugar, that's the sins. So I'm cutting them out right now, and I'm just using these things with low sugar as a stepping stone for a better part of my diet, a better part of my lifestyle. So even these mubah, things that are halal and permissible, which don't bring benefit, or they can lead to slight, or, or to sin, or slight, dislike things, don't think of these as things that I want to always do in my life. Think of these as things that, well, right now I'm a young, I'm a child, I've got this habit. I want to eventually get out of this. Do you understand? So you say, eventually I just want to stop watching all of these things. Eventually I want to stop listening to all these nashis and start doing something more beneficial. 
spent more time with the family, more productive. But it's like a stepping stone for something in the future. And again, it differs different the person. Some people are in university, on Friday nights, if a bunch of 20 people get together, and some 20 Muslim boys get together in university, and they have an Xbox one playing FIFA, so maybe that's useful for them. Because instead of going to, instead of going to uh, what? Uh, clubbing and partying, they are at least saving themselves from sin. But there may also be an Islamic program. You kind of saying? So if they could go to the Islamic program, or the Islamic, there's an ISO, Islamic society, they have universities, if they could go to that, then that's better. So if they're going to say, well, stick on this million one, it's, it's permissible or it's a bind, bind, then they will never get any better. But if you're trying to say, get away from clubbing, get away from going to parties, and just play your Xbox tournaments, all you little boys, all you young sons, get together, play some Xbox games, and you should save yourself. Pray your Isha, pray your Fajr, and then go to sleep. You save yourself from sin. But if you make that your game, the goal for, for the rest of your life, you never get to the next stage. Next stage. You understand? So this middle thing, these things are permissible and mubah, you have to try to use these as stepping stones to better. Don't make it your ultimate destination. Do you understand? It's a stepping stone to get better, not the ultimate des a destination. Or not what you want to be. Do you understand? Do you understand?